How's it going guys? Selves Lita Carson here. I'm back once again playing more of Contrast to the game created by the people who made We Happy Few. Don't forget to take your joy. In any case, let's do this. The king told him about a dragon that he could slay in really? order to win the princess's hand and stop being so embarrassed. So Fred marched off to the mountaintop of the dragon. Bye Fred! You're such a hunk of a man. I love you, you piece of hunk. Very quiet. After a few days, the princess got to wondering why her dad kept trying to give her away. That too. But <laughs> she was worried about Fred, so she went off to find him. <laughs> why her dad kept trying to give her away? <laughs> That's a smart daughter, once again. Why is this girl so the smart? The mountain was cold, and the wind howled at her to turn back. There were rock slides and fiery chasms. But she was very brave and nimble. But she apparently like died. She wasn't going to be put off by a few deadly dangers. Blah. I have to save Fred anyways because he's such a hunk of a man and I love him. Alright, here we go. Come on. Up and up she climbed. When she got cold... She thought about the hot buttered muffin she would make once she got Fred home. Yeah. Do you still like muffins? I love muffins. The princess hoped Fred liked muffins. Yeah, because if Fred doesn't like my muffins, I'm going to be very mad. Woo! That was close. I actually thought I was going to die there for a second. When the princess got to the lair of the dragon, she was not very surprised to see Fred hanging from the roof of the what? dragon's cave. So what did he do? So she taunted the dragon until it roared its fiery breath at her. Ah, oh, apparently she died in the fire, so she, Fred would lay lonely and single for the rest of his life. Come on, you big dragon, you're so ugly and I- ah! Finally, burning away the ropes that were tying up Fred. And so, the princess and Fred lived happily ever after. Yay! Fred never had to go on another adventure again. And they had hot buttered muffins. Yes. Buttered muffins are There's awesome. Another version of the story where the princess flew off on the dragon's back to have a life full of adventures, but that's for another day. Oh well, that would have sounded nice too. But then again, oh well. Yay! Yay, Don, you did it. Prepare the last attraction. Oh boy, this is going to be really interesting. So I fixed the play, I fixed the boat, now what do I have to fix? Oh, yeah, I remember the ship being very interesting. I probably need to go work at Disneyland and probably make them voices for a while. Oh, what's this? And I die. Ah! Uh! Okay, let's try it again, folks. I'm going to get this. I swear I will. Okay. Oh, oh no. No, no, no. Yeah! Oh well. Oh god! Damn it! That was not even funny to it. Uh oh. Okay, I got it in my head. I know how to do this. Do it. Do it. Ah! Damn it. Okay, forget it. I don't need the illumination. I just need to fix the ride. But the question is where is the last r attraction ride? Gosh darn it, I want it now. Alright. 
Still, there's no point in it. I will get this thing. You shut up, Billy. Whoo! There we go. I've gotten what I needed. All done. See? I told you I would get it, folks! Never tell me again! Oh, yeah. Right, okay, I assume the other ride is that way. Hot air balloon ride. Ooh, wait, how much is it? For ki oh, oh, three dollar. Oh, three dollar. I don't have that money. Remember, folks, if this was like 1920s, 1930s, I guarantee you that money is going to be much more than it was back today. Look, there's the balloon. <gasps> it got snagged, so they can't pull it down. Shit. Nobody can get up there to untangle it. Mm. I bet somebody didn't pay attention when he was tying it down. A carousel! I think I can turn it on. Do you have any luminaries? Yes, I have some luminaries. We have a carousel! I think I can turn this on now. I think you're gonna need to get that beacon working. Son of a bitch. Girl, you're making this life very, very difficult. Yeah, I figured that trick out already, it seems. Get me on the damn horse! I think I can do this. We ride him, cowboy. Get along, little doggies. Uh, girl, this is not Sorry, easy. Was I in the way? This is not as easy as you think it is, okay? Are you okay up there? You need any help? Here, jump on this. Thank you. You're so kind, little girl. I think you're gonna need to get that beacon working. I wonder what gave that idea away, girl. Untangle Daddy's balloon. Alright. Why are you so you are like super smart girl for your age. I know why the dad did this again. Oh damn it! Oh, okay, even better. Is it possible, folks, that the dad did this not for himself, but for the daughter? Is it possible? I'm just throwing out a theory, folks. And no, it's not a, not a stupid game theory. It's actually just an actual theory. Is it possible he did this all for his daughter? Which would be really nice and sweet if he did. Because... Hey, my dad does a lot of things for me too, but you know, the thing is... Oh, no, 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 damn it! Gosh darn it, that's actually tougher than it looks. I promise you, it's much tougher than it looks. Um... There we go. My dad does a lot of things for me too, but the difference is, is that... Alright, nope! Ah, uh, crap. Not this again. Uh, my dad does a lot of things for me, but it's all different, you know. He, he does his things, I do my things. And I tell him, look, Dad, you do you and I'm gonna do me, okay? No, no! I was trapped! If this dad did this all for her, you know how imp He should win Dad of the Year then. Unfortunately, my dad should win that award, but... My dad never gives me anything. Okay, there we go. Good. Woo. Almost there. 
Aha! Woo! That was close. Ten, oh, ten of these illuminates. Okay. Damn it! I fell from the my death. And my theory is this, guys. Oh, I hit my microphone. The reason why I think the dad is doing this for the daughter, really, because he wants to try and reconnect with her. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't think he's just doing it just to make lots and lots of more money. He's doing this for... Ah, damn it! I was so distracted talking to you guys, I forgot about that. He's more, like, trying to reconnect with his daughter and his family again. That he is putting himself, I guess you could say, in a position where he could really lose. The Cyclops bottle. Huh. Well, that's interesting. I swear, it has to be that. Yay! You did it! Okay, hop in! I'm scared if I hop in! That was amazing. I wish I could do that. Would you teach me someday? No. No, that was dangerous. And a little girl like you should be playing that. And I missed an Illuminae, but it's fine. Get to the circus tent. Yeah, that was actually the plan. Cirque du Soleil. <laughs> or Cirque du Freak. Alright, let's see what happens now. Vincenzo came back! Hey! What do you think, Vincenzo? Did you ever consider trying out for the trapeze? Huh! <laughs> They're good at what they do, Mr. Fenris. I'll give you that. I got my balloon back, I got a princess for my puppet theater, and my pirate ship is sailing the bounding main. So you're a man of your word. Yes, I Yes, he ahead. is. Count it. It's all there. Yes, it is. You need a hand with your stuff? My apparatuses are very delicate, and I don't like anyone in my workshop. Okay. Provide the audience, Mr. Fenris, and I will provide amazement. Okay. Mr. Fenris, why are you organizing this circus? I know who your investors are. I know why. I my wife and daughter I cleaned up my act. But if I don't pull in the crowds for you, those boys are going to put you in the river. Without Cad and Didi, I wouldn't care much if they did. Ooh. Uh, so those crowds better come. I didn't talk to him. I didn't talk to Vincenzo. Wait, where are you going? Come back! We gotta help your dad! Bring in those crowds, you know what I mean? Because, like, here's the theory, guys. The theory is, like I said, the hut, the dad, daddy is doing it. And you know who I'm referring as daddy, not Vincenzo. Daddy is doing this for her and his wife. He's trying to clean up his act. He's trying to reconnect with his family because he wants to be a better person. The daughter and the wife, uh, that I think the daughter's clearly seeing it, but the wife is, like, skeptical. And, Vin and we both learned that Vincenzo, if those who have not, who are just tuning in and have not watched the first part, then get your ass off to this and go watch the first part and the second part, please. The first part, because we learned that Vincenzo is really Dee Dee's dad, and so that tells us that she's trying to connect with her real dad, but her real, but in my view, her real dad is the guy trying to clean up his act. So let's get back to it. Hey! What? Vincenzo's going to a secret workshop. I can finally talk to him all alone. But where is it? All right, I'll follow you, little girl. Please, do- Do you think he would ever take me with him? No. Vincenzo, you know, when he travels all around the world? No, please don't, don't go with him. I promise you, you'll hate yourself if you do. Now we go this way. Follow me. But I, I want to look for luminaries. Excuse me, mister. Do you know where Mr. Vincenzo's workshop is? Yep. Everybody knows where it is. It's by the big clock tower. You can't miss it. But good luck getting inside. No one's ever been. Really? Thank you. Come on. Alright, alright. I mean, like I said, this girl is super smart for her age. 
I'm not gonna follow you. Follow me. Let's go. Is this it? Oh, I was already there. Wow. Oh, no, we just missed him. This is a big mechanism. I hope you brought some luminaries with I you. I didn't even grab any luminaries because I was so busy helping you and following you. Gosh, girl, you're so demanding. These children these days, they're so demanding, aren't they? What are you trying to say, Selves? He's in pretty deep with some bad people, Dee Dee. Maybe you should make good with them first. Right, Johnny? Maybe I'm no good without my family. Maybe I need my family to make good. Johnny, if this is another train wreck, it's not just going to be you and the train this time. I'm not going to let it wreck this time. I promise. I've missed you so much. He's in pretty deep with some bad people, Dee Dee. Maybe he should make good with them first. Right, Johnny? Maybe I'm no good without my family. Maybe I'll make my family to make good. Johnny. This is another train wreck. Aha! One of the four luminaries. I gotta find the other one now. Oh, there's one. Oh, that would have been nice to know earlier. Yeah, I'm not gonna collect, go all around the world and look for them. And again, let me just take a little peek. You never know what you're gonna find, folks. That's why I'm exploring. Okay, yeah, this is it. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. I honestly don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. Hmm, is it possible, folks? I have a theory. It's probably going to suck. Yeah, I knew this was not going to work. Maybe that will do it. Nope, that won't do it either. I don't know what the ball is for, so I'm just going to ignore it now. Oh, please let this work.
Damn it. All right. What do I do? This is a theory, folks. Ah, uh, now I think I know what I gotta do. Okay, I know what I gotta do with that ball. First off, let's get into this room. Now I know what I gotta do. I gotta try and get that ball in up there. Okay, see, now that this game makes you think. It's not like a walkthrough, easy peasy stuff. You gotta actually think about it. Alright, so, how am I gonna do this? See if I can find it. That might be it. Don't you dare roll off me, mister. This is gonna take a while for me to figure out, so I'll just cut it off right here. So, man, I don't know why uh, Dee Dee is so eager to meet Vinci this guy. I mean, because in my view, she should stay with her mom and dad and just try and make the crowd li her, their life happy. Other than that, I mean, the game and the story is interesting. It's just the adventure and the puzzles that are like, oh, why? <laughs> I just, I'm loving We Happy Few more. I mean, that one has a little bit more story at least. So I'm just going to call it right now, guys. Thanks for watching this. Tune in the next. I hope you kind of liked what you saw and you like my theories that I'm building up. So as I always say at the end, stay you, stay cool, and stay awesome. Take care.